is the CMB anisotropy really random? For those who may not know, what is anisotropy? Mm -hmm. It means not isotropic. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and why would we and then? Not just, why isn't it just A? Uh, a just isotropy. A acid, right. A no, no. Mm. Uh, well, anyway. Okay, so, so tell me about isotropy. Yeah. So isotropy is the feature that uh, you have complete uniformity and things look the same and they are the same. And homogeneity, it's oh. similar in, in, in every composition. Direction. In every, every direction, direction that you no look. Which so, way you point the telescope. No matter what. Yeah. So if you're ever flying in an airplane and you're in the and clouds. You go through a cloud. And you go through, through a cloud. Yeah. And that cloud... To you, when you look out the window, it looks perfectly isotropic anywhere you look out the window. And right. if you're in the cockpit, it's the same brightness. Yeah. It's the same bright. It kind of looks like you're inside of a ping pong ball. Everything is the same brightness and intensity. That's isotropic. That's perfect isotropy. The okay. principle of looking the same everywhere. But anisotropy just means fluctuations from that from right. that amount. So it, it's not that. It's not that. You look so, in one space, in one space, you'll see something different than you look in the other space. That's right. Now, if the universe were perfectly symmetric at earlier times, the amount of matter was the same everywhere. The amount of dark matter was the same everywhere. Any exotic particles, everything was ex exactly identical. The universe would have no way to know where it should form a cluster of galaxies, yeah. a single galaxy, right. a planet, et cetera, et cetera. Right? right. So if you had perfect isotropy, and Isaac Newton realized this three hundred plus years ago, perfect isotropy is incompatible with our existence because right. we don't see perfection wherever we look we, we aspire and to we it. also know that and that there's clumps of dark matter because we know that we, right. we know we know <laughs> exactly <laughs> so it's kind of what's called we are clumps of matter we are clumps of matter <laughs> yeah. ourselves yeah.